Hello, you're watching Bones and Stones, and what I have for you today is this gilt-headed sea bream. It's the only species of sea bream in widespread farming, and this one I got from the fishmonger. I'm going to dissect it for you, then cook and eat it. Uh, unfortunately, this one has had its dorsal fin snipped off, but otherwise it's nice and intact. So, you'll notice that uh, it's got this gold band between its eyes, and that gives it its scientific name, Sparus auratus, auratus meaning golden, and it also gives it its common name, gilt-headed bream. So, let's uh, open this thing up and see what we have inside. So I'm going to start by getting my scissors and snipping just cranial to the anus, uh, just being nice and careful, not to damage anything internal, like this. Let's see what we have inside. Perfect. And now you can see the internal organs. Right. We have a better view. Now have a better look. So you can instantly see here, this long tubular structure is of course the guts, and we've got over here the liver, this uh, dark vascular structure. So let's get a teasing needle, and let's have a look what we, what we can see. So here we have the stomach, we have the liver, and then here, just going down there, is the duodenum. And this transparent structure, well, here, this transparent structure is the swim bladder, which I'm going to be very careful not to deflate because it's uh, full of gas. And let's take all of this out very carefully. And that's the gallbladder there. This little green bag there. Little gallbladder. So that is the spleen. And I know it's the spleen because it's very dark red and brown, and that's because it's full of red blood cells. Let's put that aside there. You've got the gonads, this uh, white creamy structure is a testis, so we know this fish is male. And along the top of the swim bladder, we should see the kidneys. So if we have a look at all the structures going down into the cloaca down here, uh, we've got the gut, uh, which is where it excretes its uh, fecal matter. We've got the uh, testis, so the fish can release sperm into the water. Is of course external fertilization, and then we should have the kidney. So, this is the swim ladder here, this transparent structure, and then on top of it, this dark strip is the kidney. And uh, fish have very simple kidneys compared to us, and then just below the swim ladder, we have the testis. So the next thing, let's have a look at its heart, which is just over here. It's going to be a bit difficult to get to. It's a bit too deep in there for me to get at. The heart in a fish is of course two-chambered, uh, it just has an atrium and a ventricle. It also has uh, two, two kind of chambers, but not really chambers, uh, sinus venosus up front and uh, bulbous arteriosus at the back. I don't think we're going to be able to get this out and have a look. Oh no, no, I've got it, I've got it. There we are. Ah. 
There we are. So here is the heart. And I think hopefully you you can see the two chambers there. Put it like that. So you've got the atrium there and the ventricle there. Okay, unlike humans, uh, fish have a single circulatory system. So let's put the heart to one side. Now let's have a look at the respiratory system, uh, which in a fish does of course mean the gills. So to have a look at the gills, we're going to have to snip away the gill cover, which is uh, known as the operculum. So let's up here and you can now see those lovely gills open that a bit more and that plums directly into the circulatory system so we're now going to have a look at another very interesting structure the eye which is quite big in these fish but they need the good eyesight to stop to spot their prey and their predators. So we're going to use a teasing needle to tease out the eye. I'm just going to cut around there. Right, so that's the orbit and we have the eye. One of the most beautiful parts of the fish in my opinion. So, this hard white bit is of course the sclera. We've got all these extra ocular muscles around so that the fish can actually move its eyes. And then on the back, we've just got the nub here. Sorry. On the back here, we've just got the nub of the optic nerve. Fine. So, the best way to have a look inside the eye is to snip it along here and all that fluid coming out is the vitreous humour obviously vitreous humour in the living fish is transparent but it becomes black uh, when the fish is dead and then this structure here that I've just pulled out is the lens so what we have here this clear ball shaped structure is of course the lens of the eye and it's beautifully spherical very different to the eyes of humans and let's have a look inside here so we have the iris here this shelf and then this front bit is also very tough and that's the cornea right now it's time to look at the mouth So we can see those very sharp teeth. So thank you for watching and that's all I have for you today.